in Budapest and I'm on the Buddha side and you know I'm always on the hunt for all kinds of amazing hidden gems and curators that you know just bring such an interesting edge in fashion and styling and so I'm so excited to be here at the Love Bug Boutique so just the fact that it's named Love Bug makes me so happy and then I'm here with Violetta who is the owner, the founder, the stylist, the curator of all this amazing vintage merchandise. And so thank you for having me, first of all. Thanks for me. <laughs> oh no, absolutely. This is so cool. You've got such incredible stuff that you found. Is it, how do you go about finding all these amazing pieces? So every piece is uh, unique and uh, I, I mostly go to, go to the countryside, uh, vintage and antique markets. Um, I bought something from, you know, from the internet or I travel a lot. I really love traveling. Me too. And <laughs> yes. That's the best part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but a surprise. I know, right? <laughs> and uh, I collect things everywhere where I go. So uh, for me, a holiday is not just a holiday. It's I always work. collect something. I'm with you. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm, but I'm always looking for beauty and fashion. Yes, so. it's also so this is perfect. so cool. And so do you, I know you've got a background as a stylist and in fashion. So if somebody was to come in and they wanted to find some really cool vintage items, would you, could you help style them? Yes, of course, because uh, I think it's, uh, for me, it's important that uh, a whole vintage look, it's okay, but I think in everyday life, it's not always perfect. So you can match your uh, casual everyday uh, clothes with one or two uni unique vintage pieces. So I think it's also, also perfect and I can help to the people to find this one piece, the perfect piece. Yeah, will you help me find the perfect piece? Yes. <laughs> say someone else's junk is someone else's treasure. Yeah, that's, it's you know perfect, what I mean? it's true. It's, it's so true, true. and yes. it, I love that you can, you know, get inspiration from the past yes, and exactly. actually recreate a new, you know, create a new future with all of these things that have yes. history. Yes, it's perfect. Uh, uh, I was in uh, Transylvania two months ago on the market and I find a really nice uh, uh, pattern material and uh, my boyfriend's uh, grandmother saw a gym bag from this old ah. material. I will show you this bag. Okay. So oh, the bag I is uh, the bag is new, but okay. uh, but the material is really old, old. and vintage. Okay. And it's new and vintage together. So then you actually take old pieces and reconstruct them yes. into something new. Yes, yes that's exactly. super cool. <laughs> okay, so you've got. First of all, we're in a flat or an apartment here, so it's not just this one room. You can go past the kitchen <laughs> and then the restroom and go to the next room and then you can even go upstairs and she's just got amazing stuff everywhere. But okay, for this room, what's your favorite piece? Uh, from this room, yeah. I really like the jewelries also. Yeah, it's from the jewelries, there are vintage brushes. Maybe I re really like this oh, yeah. side. This is a camel. camel. I, yes. I don't know the English for this, uh, maybe the same. That is a classic. Yes, it's a Absolute classic vintage. Classic. Yes, and it looks really good on a coat or on a fur, fur coat or, or maybe on a scarf. scarf. Or, yes, yes, yes. I've been actually seeing a lot of women take the scarf and tie it and then do the brooch. Yes, yes, it's yes. So yes, beautiful. Yes, it's, it's, it's a typical and it's really, you know, that also. Uh, funny things like uh, I, I don't know maybe it's a unicorn it's from the <laughs> 80s and there is a there is a horse it can be also a unicorn because it's very fashionable now the the unicorn okay can we just say something really quick is the 80s considered vintage because I'm, I'm an 80s girl not to age myself but me too <laughs> I'm like is it vintage now that's so sad uh, yes because 90s is also for me in the shop there is a lot of stuff from the 90s yeah. and, and a lot of sad. my customer customers are very young girls 18 years old yeah and, so then and, that is vintage yeah <laughs> Okay, so you've got amazing from the jewelry, jewelry yes, you've and got the uh, brooches. there are also clothes, uh, fake fur coats, and, and uh, this one is a uh, this one is real, but uh, it's it's one of my favorite. This is a uh, like a little bit country oh, uh, yeah. style, and That's I really so cute with boots. really like the fringes. I think yeah. it's really in. Uh, so for me, uh, I can I can. It was on a photo shooting last week with the horses, uh -huh. and I think it's uh, it's typical. Well, and I love how distressed it is. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, yeah, just, it's yeah. got that really nice worn in, yes. sexy. Yes, like. yes, and it's also uh, so it's it could it could be good for a girl and a boy also. Yeah, because definitely. I think it's maybe, 
And it's like the other one is, uh, it's a, uh, it's an older. I was totally looking at that. Yes, this That's leather so jacket. Cool. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> the gosh. star. Yeah. So yeah. It's, I think it's that is awesome. Typical, typical vintage, and uh, and it's really fine. It's, it's really. So where did you find a piece like this? Uh, this one I found it on a sale, uh, sale uh, group. Okay. Maybe on the Facebook or uh, okay. or uh, there is uh, in Hungary also like uh, eBay in the Hungarian eBay. Okay. So you can find also nice things there. Oh, okay. So sometimes if you are looking for something, just write it in jacket or or boots, and you can find the nice stuff. So do you? Um, are you curating on a daily basis, or do you have like a buying? Like, how often are you buying merchandise for your store? Uh, every week I, I go hunting treasures uh, in, in, in the city, in Budapest also, or the countryside or, or abroad. But uh, I think um, it's always, it depends on. So I, sometimes I find furs, sometimes I find jewelry. I know, so. I saw all the furs in the yeah, back. I'm there. actually obsessed with this one right here. <laughs> this this, this, this is color. totally my color. Yeah, yeah. this it, color. It, it, Bright color, so yeah. it, it looks cool. I love it, I love it. So sometimes I found uh, fur, sometimes I find boots. Uh, now uh, Martin's uh, boots are really uh, in, in, in my shop. A lot of people are looking for uh, colorful uh, yeah, boots. Yeah, it's so cute. Yes, 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 but uh, it depends also. It's, it's, it's the magic that I, I not really know, never know what will I found. And oh my God, this will be perfect. <laughs> Is there, you know, because I always find that there's a customer for everything. Yeah, so, it's exactly. Yeah, so is there something that you've bought that you're like, oh, I don't know if anyone's gonna buy this, and then it ends up being like the first thing that's sold. Yes, it's, it's <laughs> sometimes I, I, I find something and I'm sure that it will be sold in, in a minute and it's here since two months. And sometimes I found something uh, which is, uh, uh, okay, maybe it's cheap, maybe uh, we will see and a uh, lot of people want that piece. So it's, it's, so, it's so true that, that uh, I, I sometimes uh, every, every piece has a customer, so yeah. it's true. And every piece has a story. So, yes. okay, so for the everyday woman who's sitting anywhere but here if they wanted to start incorporating vintage in their look like what's the easiest way to because I can some people are very intimidated they're mm -hmm. like oh I don't want to go vintage because I don't know how to style it and yes. I don't know what to do so for the everyday woman like what's the easiest way to like bring vintage into your life yeah <laughs> uh, it's, um, I think first uh, it's the smaller things and uh, the, the perfect may be a bag because uh, mm. vintage bags are really good condition and uh, sometimes it's more more better because it's 20 years old and still still uh, good condition Beautiful. and, and uh, leather or or uh, goblin or something special material and uh, you can match it with your clothes so right. if you are a little bit uh, afraid from the vintage things and first time uh, maybe a bag will be perfect or jewelry because everybody wears jewelry yeah. and uh, it's a small thing but it can it could be unique so if somebody is uh, a little bit more extreme can buy a boot or a, a fur coat or something uh, more more but first time I think a belt or a bag or, or a jewelry. So an accessory. Yes, an accessory. Yes. Accessorize yes. first with yes. vintage. Yes, I, I And then so. I also think with the coats too. I always think the coats are a great way to just get into like a vintage look yes. without like yes. a heavy commitment yes. of a full like, exactly. dress or, you know, but even like some of the accessories you have are so pretty. And, yeah. you know, really beautiful, like some of the perfume bottles. Yes, you, you can also buy the smaller things and I think it looks really good on your uh, on your table at home or in the in the bathroom, a small uh, antique uh, perfume holder yeah. or something. Uh, They're so pretty, yes, you know, yes. it's just kind of a nice thing to look at when you're getting ready. Yes, exactly. We're done. You have to come see the Love Bug uh, vintage store when you're in Budapest on the Buddha side and visit Violetta, or as her friends call her, Vivi, which I love. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do another video with her and see what's in her beauty bag, so stay tuned for that on the next one. Bye.